All right, here we are. This is, uh, well, come on, dog. Here he comes. Uh, what? Here, let me move the pipe a little bit. Here, come here. Come here. Oh, here he is. Ah, there we go. Okay. Did you, what, don't burp now. I know you just had your dinner. Okay. Gotta look at the camera. Okay. Well, this will be, uh, oh, dog. <laughs> he starts to fall off my lap. Uh, this is like uh, part two of working on this ICOM IC745 high frequency transceiver. Uh, I didn't show my uh, using, um, well, didn't show you uh, my using 4 aught steel wool on the cabinet and uh, then using uh, evapo rust on it to get the rust out. Almost got it down to bare metal actually. Um, and then, uh, oh, I, I only had to sand a couple of rough spots and that was it. And uh, then I painted it, well, a really dark gray so that it almost looks like the original color because the color is somewhere between dark green and gray so it's kind of like weird I don't know but uh, it doesn't uh, yeah actually it doesn't look bad at all it look, well, a lot better than a rusted cabinet anyway so I did that and then I had a new speaker so I figure, well, rather than use this other old one, which probably still doesn't work, even though it checked out as being 8 ohms, but it didn't work when I had, uh, before I even connected a speaker up to it, so I'm assuming the speaker was still bad anyway. So uh, I put a brand new speaker uh, in it, and as it turns out, the bracket will actually, underneath, it will actually accept it. So. It was not a big deal trying to get that on there. So all I have to do next is just solder the, the old uh, socket wires to this uh, new speaker. But anyway, I'll show you what I did. Ah, ah, there we go. Oh. Otherwise, the videos take too long. Uh, okay. So. Yeah. There is the cabinet painted de-rusted, no longer any rust. Uh, hopefully that it shows everything. But uh, and if you look at the, the side and underneath, it's a little bit darker, but eh, it's close enough for me anyway. And then, uh, like I said, the brackets they had in there, I was able to screw it right down to the uh, new speaker. Even though this speaker, the one they had in there, was actually round, this one had a square lip around it, but the interior part was round. So that's why it actually worked pretty well. Uh, and I got all the screws in there tight. There's like four of them on there. So yeah, so all I have to do next is just uh, wire that up and uh, then we'll test it out and see what it does. Uh, I'm pretty sure, because I said that's, like I said, this is a brand new speaker. It has never even been soldered on. You can see that I bought this on eBay for another project but never used it. Uh, so, luckily, it was a perfect size for this one. It's exactly the right size. So, anyway, so that's kind of be going in there and I'll just go ahead and all I have to do next is uh, just unsolder these wires off of the old speaker and I will attach them there and that's what we'll have and uh, I should have no problem at all but like I said this was it was round this other one had a, uh, was kind of like square around it, but 
as you can see, it's pretty much the same size. Uh, there's nothing weird about it at all. It locked right in place with no problem. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unsolder that and then solder the new wires on. So, that'll be it for now. I just wanted to do a short one to show you my progress. I mean, I hadn't even cleaned up the cabinet before. So, anyway, so there we go. And Chubby wants to say hi, bye. Okay, you want to say bye? Yeah, say bye. Wave. Wave. Oh, no, I didn't say shake. All right, anyway, that's going to be it for now. See you guys later. Okay, wait, don't go, don't go yet. I'm going to show you something now. All right. Find the power button. There it is. And no outside speaker. That's the internal speaker now working. It's working fine. It looks like everything works fine here. You can change a band selector. All that can be changed. Uh, the band selector is right, right there. So right now it's on 40 meters. You can change it. That's 80 meters. Actually, when you get to the frequency you want, and you want to get to 40 meters, just turn the band switch off. And it will stay right there. So, yes, everything is functioning the way it's supposed to. The speaker works fine. Turns out the volume control was not the problem. It was, I was, I was turning the RF gain up too high. And that was what was happening. So anyway, it's working. Uh, I'm going to screw this down. And then I'm going to flip it upside down and take off the other side and take a look at the boards on the opposite side of this radio. But uh, I don't think I'm going to find any problems because it seems, everything seems to be working fine. So there you are. Okay, that's got to be the end now for sure. See you guys later.